Social Security Administration, how may I help you? Yeah, may I know to whom I'm talking to? Okay. Can you please hold for a moment and let it pull out your file? Okay, so did you receive any calls from your local police department? No. Okay, can you please grab a piece of paper and pen so you can make a note down some details of your case file? Okay, so now write down my batch ID number is 31568. Your case ID number is D as in David, C as in Charlie, 7010. Listen me. Listen me carefully. It's D, C, 70, number 1, number 0. No! There is no 27, there is only 17. It's 7010. Let me go ahead and read out the legal charges against your name. And I would like to request you that do not interrupt in between while I'm reading your case information. You will be given a fair chance after I have done. Is it clear? Okay, make sure that you don't hang up the call, okay? Okay, so now your social has been found suspicious for criminal activities in the state of Texas. So have you ever been to the state of Texas before? Okay, because we are taking this issue to the FBI headquarters, as we are having a very strong evidence that are enough to prove you guilty inside the courthouse. And this investigation started when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas and the car contained some blood and drug residues inside it. And after investigation, we have found that the car was rented on your name and on your personal social information. So now, there are two addresses linked with the title of the vehicles. The address in the city of Rollet was raised by the U.S. Marshal, but unfortunately there was no one inside the residence. Do you get me? But we have recovered 22 pounds of cocaine, which is an abusive drug, and some kind of documentation from financial institutes such as Chase Bank, Bank of America, and U.S. Bank. And all this entire paperwork has your name on it, and thousands of dollars have been wired from this bank account locally and internationally, which is totally seems suspicious to us. So now, as we are from Social Security Administration of the state of Texas, has filed case against you for drug trafficking and as well as money laundering. Is that clear? But we have recovered 22 pounds of cocaine, which is an abusive drug, and some kind of documentation from financial institutes such as Chase Bank, Bank of America, and U.S. Bank. And all this entire paperwork has your name on it, and thousands of dollars have been wired from this bank account locally and internationally, which is totally seems suspicious to us. So now, as we are from Social Security Administration of the state of Texas, has filed case against you for drug trafficking and as well as money laundering. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, and according to the section 42, subsection C of 1958, Drug Enforcement Administration Act, you are going to be taken for non-bailable deal, term of 9 years, and the penalty should be $89,300. And in this regard, we have also checked your past record, and we have found that your banking contains genuine record, and your social have no other complaint in the past. So that is the only reason we are tied to reach you before you face any legal consequences. So now, if you are agreed to help the Department of Treasury in this case, then only we can put your case and warrant on hold to find the real culprit who used your personal social information. So now I would like to know that are you agreed to help the Department of Treasury in this case? You understand, right? Okay. So can you please hold the line while I'm transferring this call to my senior officer with DEA, who is the authorized person in regard with your case. Can you hold for a moment and have a word with them first? Yes. Yeah. This is Senior Officer George Nelson with Drug Enforcement Administration Department. And how are you doing today? And you can write down my batch ID number. You have a piece of paper and a pen handy with you. My batch ID number, that is I-R-M, it's I like an ice cream, then R like in Roger, M like in Mary, number four, number eight, number four, and number five. 
you got that yes and may i know to whom the pleasure i got to speak with like it's a man's name right and you are a woman correct like it's a man's name right and you are a woman correct as i'm checking with your case file information there is a case registered under your name for drug trafficking and money laundering so what do you want to say about it see before we try to contact you like we have checked with your past records and like we found that your bank contain genuine records and your social have no other complaint in a past that is the only reason like we thought you are the genuine one you have not done this kind of criminal activities so it just a last courtesy call have been made to you to aware about your situation so do you have any idea who have done this kind of criminal activities like do you suspect anyone regarding this okay so you are telling me that roger like you are not the one who is involved in this case it might be someone else using your personal information to do this kind of criminal activities yes so if that is the situation roger are you willing to cooperate with the federal officer and the procedure to clear your name from the sensitive case of yours yes i'm happy to hear that roger and now let me make you aware how it's going to be done first of all we need to get your case file and arrest warrant cancelled and then after your old social security number will be suspended under your name and the new social number will be allotted to you and now let me pull out this conversation of your recording which you had with me as well as with my previous officer and forward it to the court house informing them about the recent development and get your cancellation process started of your arrest warrant and also of your case in the meantime you have to stay online with me on this recorded phone i have to update with the court house decision and also what all the necessary step you have to take care of to get the new social number all right okay so you are telling me that roger like you are not the one who is involved in this case it might be someone else using your personal information to do this kind of criminal activities yes so if that is the situation roger are you willing to cooperate with the federal officer and the procedure to clear your name from the sensitive case of yours yes I'm happy to hear that Roger and now let me make you aware how it's going to be done first of all we need to get your case file and arrest warrant cancelled and then after your old social security number will be suspended under your name and the new social number will be allotted to you and now let me pull out this conversation of your recording which you had with me as well as with my previous officer and forward it to the court house informing them about the recent development and get your cancellation process started of your arrest warrant and also of your case in the meantime you have to stay online with me on this recorded phone i have to update with the court house decision and also what all the necessary step you have to take care of to get the new social number all right yes okay so you are telling me that roger like you are not the one who is involved in this case it might be someone else using your personal information to do this kind of criminal activities yes so if that is the situation roger are you willing to cooperate with the federal officer and the procedure to clear your name from the sensitive case of yours yes I'm happy to hear that Roger and now let me make you aware how it's going to be done first of all we need to get your case file and arrest warrant cancelled and then after your old social security number will be suspended under your name and the new social number will be allotted to you and now let me pull out this conversation of your recording which you had with me as well as with my previous officer and forward it to the court house informing them about the recent development and get your cancellation process started of your arrest warrant and also of your case 
in the meantime you have to stay online with me on this recorded phone i have to update with the court house decision and also what all the necessary step you have to take care of to get the new social number all right yes so be connected with me let me have a word with the court house and let me get back to you with the court house decision but before i do that roger let me tell you one thing as of now we don't know like who is the real culprit it might be anyone it might be your friend or it might be your neighbor or it might be your relative but until your arrest warrant won't get cancelled until we resolve this matter you don't have to share this information with anyone else you have to keep it very confidential between you and between us i know so who's doing it. it oh you know who is doing yeah. it escobar oh escobar but which escobar do you know the first name about the pablo the pablo escobar yes oh but how he got your information did you meet with him before yes so you met with him before right so you shared your all the information you yes how about i with the escobar next correct the next go the seven dinner with him the next so you had a dinner with him yeah he said oh so like you are a partner of pablo escobar right yes was you are also a drug dealer right you are dealing you are doing a deal with pablo escobar correct yes okay so we got the culprit like you are doing this all kind of criminal activities no problem the case is resolved now we will go with the legal procedure we will go ahead suspend your social security number and be wherever you are on the same place within the next 25 to 30 minutes we have forwarded your case file so the local county sheriff will be at your door within the next 25 to 30 minutes all right